Hey guys, welcome to the start of today's video. Late start, it's like 6.30 in the afternoon. We need to move my mum's car because Lachlan is over. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's waiting for me. Sorry bro, that's what you get for making me wait all the time. Anyway, mum's got a 2005, 20? I don't know, whatever this Kluger is, but not gonna lie, it's really nice to drive. Yeah, but weather is subpar today, guys. I don't understand, it's literally first day of summer and, and I'm like, promise you guys, if you don't live in Melbourne, summer is supposed to be really warm here. Usually it's like 30, 30 degrees at times. It's raining, it's wet and raining in summer. What happened? Now we're doing some bit of off-roading here. Yeah, this, this thing's honestly a delight to drive. It's got electric power steering, so you don't really feel any sort of input. Got a reverse camera too, look at that. Yeah, baby. Damn AU Falcon, still not done. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's, yeah. Lachlan is here. What's up, man? Guys, have a sus of this thing. This is OG car on the channel, bro. OG. Oh my God. I, I, I don't miss this car, dude. Oh yeah, leaking from there. Leaking right, from there. Look inside, inside there. Oh, I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a pool. Just, yeah, don't put your phone there, bro. You drop it, it's GG. <laughs> oh man, dude, it's leaking all over the front. Oh, dude, your freaking accessory belt's like chomped away. No way. Plan of today is to work on the chaser because as I said in the previous video, we're gonna have to keep grinding away on it for the next week or so because we have our tune booked. Did I tell you about that? Yeah. Yeah, I did. All right. Tune, what, end of January? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't tell you about that. Dude. What? Flipped like 15 times. <laughs> I have a tune booked um, next week. Really? Yes, next week. Who with? Um, check a tuning. You got a lot of work to do in, yes. in seven days. All right, let me just quickly run you down exactly what we're gonna attempt to do over the next few days. So we're gonna have to do all the wiring for this car. We need to get it started and ready before we take it to check it tuning, otherwise they will not tune the car. I'm pretty sure I've heard from other people that they're a shop that will only tune the car, they won't do any work on it. And they have neighboring shops that will help do some work on it, but they don't do anything. If you don't have the car ready by then, you're gonna miss out on a tune. So what we need to do is essentially do all the wiring for all the sensors here. So we need to do the IA T sensor. Uh, we need to do the ethanol flex fuel sensor, the can lambda sensor over there. We need to put the boost solenoid in and we need to wire everything to the ECU. So there's a few ways to actually doing that. You can utilize some factory cables on the uh, standard harness, but I don't think I'm confident enough in trying to find those. So I might just wire everything to the ECU. Oh dude, you gotta have a look at the bung. The bung? Yeah, the bung that I welded. Hey, this, uh, this set of bungs right there. <laughs> Shout out to Ash. Cute bro. <laughs> and then the light you just flick on. Whoa, bro! Watch out! Oh, you did that one? Yeah. I thought Defaz did that one. No, I did that one. So I've never done this before. I don't entirely know what I'm doing, but the best way to learn is just by doing. I've already ran some of the cables through to the car. This is the ethanol sensor. There's three wires that need to wire to the ECU. The ECU is gonna sit just right in there, and we need to play around with exactly where we're gonna get, where we're gonna get all the positive and negatives for all the other sensors. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll record some stuff. But I don't, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the car ready before Thursday. I'm pretty worried about that. Give us a quick TLDR on what you're doing, fam. Let's go. Quick TLDR yes. is basically need to remove all this plastic junk, replace the two gaskets in there, and then yeah, throw it in the bin. <laughs> If the factory air bypass valve is removed, a boost solenoid can be connected using its wires. Aux inch seven can be used for the boost control. Okay. And what does that mean? <laughs> the jumper on the bottom board enables MAP and IoT sensors to be connected to the ECU using the MAP wires. Ah, oh, where's the Aux inch three? Pretty good. <laughs> Look at this man, he's addicted. Addicted is a bit of an extreme exaggeration. That's a Nathan, that's right. All right, gentlemen and ladies and everyone else in between and far from. A anyway, so it seems like we need to go over here. So I don't know if you can see on the page right there, but it says injector seven, air bypass valve, pin 70, pin eight, oh, pin 70. So we go over here and we're gonna look at the pins. Look for 70, yes. And then we're gonna go. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> We're gonna go to pin 70 on the uh, harness over here. That's looking at the ECU side, so it's a little bit confusing there. And we're going to test for continuity from the engine bay, so I'm going to Oh, how am I going to do that? I think it's long enough, my voltmeter. I don't know. But it got my reaction just then, but... We figured out something, boys. I'm so sorry. I I genuinely think I'm going a little bit insane here. This is doing my head in, but listen to this. Lachlan, turn the volume down. Do you hear that? Sounds like the sweet sound of success. So when I test this for continuity, we get a we get a little buzz going right here. So if I touch this over there, so we now can confirm where the um to cut the thing over for the boost controller. We've tested pin 70 for the air bypass valve, so we can hack up the loom a little bit. We can use this uh yellow wire, yellow and green wire right there for the boost controller. How sick is that? It's the next day now. Last night was a little bit of a nightmare. We managed to figure out, I managed to figure out exactly what I need to do to finish off the wiring. It sort of just clicked in my head. If I want to install anything into the uh, factory loom, what I can do is literally just touch any of these wires right here and pin them out to confirm that they are the correct wires. As unfortunately with the JZX, X100. The math sensors between different uh, versions of the car are different. So if I wanted to install the IAT to the math sensor, every math sensor from uh, pre 7th of 2000 are all different to each other than the post uh, math sensors, if that makes sense. So we do have to do a little bit of pinning and checking and continuity testing. So yeah, we've got the, the voltmeter all out, ready to go. I need to pick up some plugs because I really want to do this properly. You can see I've gone to the effort of getting all this like this loom stuff. I forget what you call it, but um, I want this to be all over the car rather than having exposed wires. I want to, I want it to look all OEM and factory. So that's why I've gone to that extra effort, but I'll just run you down what I've done because every time that I explain it to you guys, I get a better understanding of it. So essentially what we've got here, is the two wires for the IAT sensor. Um, this goes to the expansion loom. Um, we're also going to run the uh, ethanol sensor off this wire. The green, this is this goes directly to the ethanol sensor. The green wire is the signal, and then the black and the red are the positive and negative. So I'm just going to wire that somewhere in the car, like to uh, the cigarette lighter or the other air purifier plug that's sitting right there. So hopefully, we can get this all fixed up and sorted. Um, we do need to run this four millimeter vacuum hose down through to the uh, engine bay because the ECU has a map sensor on it. So we're going to use this vacuum port right there. Last night I also went ahead and installed a vacuum line on the boost fuel pressure regulator which we will have to take off to set properly but for now I've just put it on there so I know where it is. My brain is racing extremely fast like we don't have long to get this car back on the road and started. I've got a mate that could help me out he's just confirmed that he might be able to help start the car. Mate of a mate, PJ's mate but we need to go to J car and pick up some goodies so let's go. Olé, 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 olé. We're at our destination, J-Car. I've been coming here a lot since I've been working on the chase. So this place, it's got all the electrical stuff you need. J-Car, sponsor me, please. Got some plugs as well, so we can make it so it's nice and easy to disconnect and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, finish this car off. I believe it's been about two hours, something like that, but I've completed most of the wiring. I'm really proud that I was able to do this. I'm pretty sure everything's right. I, I could have just got it all completely wrong, but I'm gonna show you what I've done anyway. And anyone that knows more than me, please comment down below and tell me if I've done anything wrong because you have no idea how much that would help out. Let's start off, can lambda. This is all wired up, goes straight down to the O2 sensor. Big uh, loom cable thingo, all the way down to the O2. Now we have the CAN Lambda plug that goes directly to the ECU. This one just follows through and goes into that little bung right there. More on the engine side, we have the IAT sensor. This cable goes all the way through, through the firewall to the ECU. 
We've also got the E85 sensor all plugged up and going all the way down to the ECU as well. So those are the three major sensors that we needed installed and ready for the car to make its first start. We're gonna use this cable, which is for the factory air bypass valve. That, that'll go to the boost solenoid because uh, it's not used. We didn't end up using the MAF sensor for the IAT because I just couldn't be bothered trying to figure out which wires were which, the MAF side, even though this plug's gonna be just chilling now, who knows. Anyway, coming through to the uh, cabin side, you can have a look at what I've done here as well. So we have the expansion loom plugged into the first port right there. And on the back of it, I'll show you, I'll get a phone picture up, but it tells you exactly what does what. And I've traced it down to the expansion loom cable that comes out of the ECU. These two wires will go to the IAT sensor, and this will be the digital input for the ethanol sensor. This is DI number three. Yep, DI number three is blue. This green cable is for the ethanol sensor and this positive and negative is also for the sensor which will run to probably uh, the air purifier 12 volt power. Here we have the IAT sensor coming through from the engine bay and here is a CAN sensor. I've also utilized, you see those blue plugs there, wire splices and they're for the positive and negative of the CAN lambda sensor. I'm sort of getting an understanding of what I'm doing, but again, please, please, if you know more than me, let me know because I want to, I want this car to start up first try without a problem. That's asking a lot, but I reckon we can do it. <laughs> I'm going to now cover this all up. This is all ready to go. And I'm going to stick a link sticker on here as well. It's official guys. Link ECU baby in an automatic transmission 1JZ box. Nice. Bun me break. My sister just brought me a bun me. So I'm going to devour this and then get back to work. I'm going to give you guys an update. We actually have done even more since when I last picked up the camera. Two hours later. You know how it be by now. Look at the mess. God damn, bruh. A lot of shit everywhere. But we have the Link ECU all wired up. Lachlan bought this thing on eBay. Thanks, Lachlan. Been using that. We've pretty much wired in all these little plugs. So I've tried not to solder as much as possible. And it's just going to make it easier if we ever need to disconnect this. Probably won't ever need to, but like, that's the, uh ethanol um, content sensor wire. We've got the IAT sensor all uh, wired up. This is for the laptop arena. So we'll plug that into the laptop. These positive and negatives go to the other side. So I need to do that wiring, but pretty much everything done. Rex H Customs, baby. I don't know, just, just vibing out in this awesome garage. Um, anyway, so the plan is to remote start the car. So PJ's friend Daniel might uh, help out and try to remote start this on Sunday. So we're gonna have a bunch of people around to help me get this thing at least started so I can drive it up onto a trailer or something. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. We're sort of gonna just take it as it goes, but massive rush because Thursday, we need to get the car all ready to go. Hopefully we haven't got any issues with the wiring. If we do, it's my fault and then we're kind of screwed. So yeah, man, I don't know what's gonna go on, but yeah, I'm, I'm keen. Fancy schmancy. I've been in here all day, so I'm gonna take a break and we're heading off. Oh, getting a phone call. Tonight is a special night because we're heading to Michael's house to have a 10 kilogram spit and some drinks with the boys. It's long overdue. COVID has really screwed up the social aspect of life and we're just gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna pick up some drinks, take you guys along on the journey and we're gonna have a sick night tonight. Keen, I'm keen. The best car in the world. Yeah, baby. Let's get out of here. Camry gang. Drinks for the boys. There we go. Next stop, Woolies. We need to get some limes for the Coronas because Corona plus lime equals good time. We got the limes. Whoa, bro, why are you starting so early? We're not even there yet. You gotta fucking, you gotta be ahead of the gang. He's like, I don't want to get drunk tonight. I don't want to get tipsy tonight. I'm gonna have like two drinks. He's already brought three and he's drinking one. There's more drinks in the car too. <laughs> oh, we got the roach here. Got our drinks. <laughs> Cheese, babe. <laughs> <laughs> guys we're done for tonight guys thank you so much for watching today's video i had so much fun <laughs> all the boys are looking at me while i'm vlogging thank you so much we're gonna take a good ride in the au falcon home that was a good night great night great night Thank you guys so much for watching. It's now the next morning. Been spending this morning editing today's video. Big night. 
<laughs> in today's time, which is your time, tomorrow I'm actually going to be starting the car. So if you want to see some sneak peeks of what to expect in the next video, then go follow me on Instagram because I'm going to post some sneak peeks there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Adios.